the 15th annual African Utility Week and Clean Power Africa, currently underway at the Cape Town International Convention Center. The convention is an opportunity for African power and water utility professionals to meet and discuss the latest trends in energy generation, water and renewable energies. My co-anchor Michelle Craig is there for us this lunchtime. Michelle, good afternoon to you. A lot of very important stuff being talked about there this week. Well, certainly, Andrew, I think the tagline for this conference is Africa is here, and that certainly is the case. We've got uh, the top CEOs from utility companies uh, all over the continent converged here at the CTICC, and as you say, renewable energy is, of course, at the very top of the agenda. Well, our guest, Sliman Abu Amara, joins us now, and um, Sliman, renewable energy certainly is what your company, DNVGL, does, isn't it? That's true. Uh, we are a recent merger between a few companies. Uh, probably the, the, the people know Kima or Garad Hastan. Garad Hastan was very much leading the, the wind energy projects in South Africa. Uh, we are now uh, 3,000 engineers uh, from offices all over the world, 85 countries. In Africa, we're leading the markets. We are here in South Africa. We are in Kenya, in Egypt, in Morocco, and parts in Zambia and Tanzania. Uh, and we are everywhere where renewable energy is getting bigger and bigger. And certainly on the continent, there, there are those success stories where certain countries have been able to plug their renewable energy straight back into the grid. What are those examples? I would like always to, to keep the story positive. I mean, the, the, the path is very stiff and it's very challenging. I would say South Africa is doing quite well. It's still leading the market. Uh, in Kenya, there are very uh, interesting stories happening in Egypt and in Morocco. Now, what we see... Uh, the key challenge is the grid related. The renewable energy technology is mature. People know it, you can build it, construct it everywhere. But integrating it, connecting it, using it, that's the challenge, also South Africa. So for any utility in Africa to be able to utilize the maximum out of this new, uh, new technologies is really to strengthen and um, improve the grid. South Africa has been having a lot of challenges in the grid. Luckily, they have been working hard on it, but still there's way a lot to do, especially if we want to go to higher uh, amount of renewables. I'm talking about 200, 300, 500 megawatts of wind and solar energy. For this, you need a very sophisticated grid. Now, the, the issue that we face in South Africa with load shedding, where our power does go out for certain amounts of time during the day, it is an issue that also affects countries on the continent. And what happens is, even though GDP growth has increased over the past few years, the risk is that it will slow down, isn't it, if, if that isn't sorted out? It is. Uh, I, must, I must be very honest on this. GDP is growing, but it would grow much better if we would have a better power supply. All of Africa has outages and low shading. And if we don't solve this, the economy won't improve. South Africa has even more challenges considering so much unemployment. The, the economic situation is very, very tricky in the country. We need a lot of new jobs, and power is the key for an, an economy. Now, if you compare South Africa to other countries, low shading is a serious issue. It did not happen yesterday. It's not the day before. It's not last year. It's not two years ago. It's something which went wrong in the planning and the foresight in the country, where it's 20 years ahead or before. So in order to correct that, South Africa needs to have a better foresight, better energy planning, and better management. If we solve the three issues, in five years we can have a better situation in South Africa. Sliman, Africa certainly has converged at the CTRCC for this conference. How can South Africa collaborate with other countries on the continent to address its energy challenges? The answer is very simple. South Africa has to engage more with grid connection, interconnection to other Southern African countries to enable the trade. We know, for instance, there are already many years on a discussion on uh, hydro energy from DRC. Then you need to have the interconnection and do that. DRC has the highest potential on hydro energy in Africa. Why not using this energy to South Africa? Mozambique is the same. And then they can produce it cheaper. But again, wh where the investment comes from, South Africa needs to engage more to connect with these other countries and then buy electricity also from other countries. Sliman Abamara, thank you for your time this afternoon. Andrew, as you can see, renewable energy at the very top of the agenda uh, at the ICC. Um, I'm sure all South Africans will be keen to find out what comes out of this conference having been load shed uh, just last night. Yeah, we load shed it again today, Michelle. It doesn't just get better and better. Uh, more from Michelle at the... Uh, Africa Utility Week a little later this afternoon.